Imagine this, you're on a long train journey, eager for some quiet contemplation. The rhythmic clatter of the train on the tracks is almost hypnotic, lulling you into a sense of calm. You've settled into your seat, book in hand, ready to delve into another world. The words on the page begin to transport you to a different time and place. Suddenly, a loud conversation erupts next to you. Two people are excitedly discussing their weekend plans, their voices filling the entire train car. Their laughter and animated gestures make it hard to concentrate. You try to focus on your book, but the constant chatter makes it impossible. The words blur together as your attention is pulled away. What do you do? Do you politely ask them to lower their voices, or do you suffer in silence, feeling your frustration mount with each passing moment? The decision isn't easy. This scenario, familiar to many introverts, highlights the delicate dance between extroverts and introverts in social settings. It's a balancing act where personal space and social interaction often collide. It's a dance where the music is often too loud, the steps too crowded, and the rhythm out of sync. The train ride meant to be a peaceful journey becomes a test of patience and social navigation. For many extroverts, conversation is like breathing. It's natural, energizing, and essential for their well-being. They thrive in environments buzzing with chatter and activity, drawing energy from social interactions. Introverts, on the other hand, often find such environments draining. They value quiet reflection, finding solace in solitude or small, intimate gatherings. When an introvert asks an extrovert to be quieter, it can lead to misunderstandings. The extrovert might feel rejected or think the introvert is being rude. The introvert in turn might feel unheard or dismissed, their need for quiet misconstrued as aloofness or disinterest. In many cultures, silence is often equated with awkwardness, boredom, or even hostility. It's seen as a void that needs to be filled, a gap in communication that makes people uneasy. We're conditioned to fill every quiet moment with noise, whether it's music, chatter, or the constant hum of electronic devices. This constant barrage of sound can be overwhelming, especially for those who thrive in quieter environments. This aversion to silence can make it challenging for introverts to express their need for quiet without feeling like they're going against the grain. They often struggle to find spaces where they can recharge without judgment. Yet silence is not the enemy of connection. It can be a powerful tool for introspection, creativity, and deeper understanding. In the stillness, we can find clarity and a deeper sense of self. For introverts, silence is often where they do their best thinking, recharging their batteries, and connecting with their inner world. It's in these quiet moments that they find their true strength and creativity. Navigating the different needs of extroverts and introverts is not about silencing one group or the other. It's about finding a balance that allows both to thrive in shared environments. It's about creating environments that respect and accommodate different ways of being, ensuring that everyone feels valued and understood. It's about recognizing that what feels energizing to one person might feel overwhelming to another. Understanding these differences is key to creating harmonious spaces. This could mean designating quiet areas in workplaces and public spaces where introverts can find solace and focus without distractions. Encouraging the use of headphones for those who need to concentrate can also be a simple yet effective solution, or simply being mindful of the volume of our conversations, ensuring that we are considerate of those around us. It's about fostering a culture of mutual understanding and respect, where everyone feels their needs are acknowledged. In such a culture, both extroverts and introverts feel comfortable expressing their needs and preferences, leading to a more inclusive and productive environment for all. Here are some practical tips for bridging the gap between extroverts and introverts. For extroverts, be mindful of your volume, especially in quiet spaces. Ask introverted friends and colleagues about their preferred mode of communication. Respect their need for solitude and downtime. For introverts, communicate your need for quiet directly and respectfully. Offer alternative solutions such as using headphones or finding a quieter space. Remember that extroverts often don't realize they're being loud. The world needs both the energy and exuberance of extroverts and the quiet thoughtfulness of introverts. When we learn to appreciate and accommodate our differences, we create a richer, more balanced world. This means embracing the sound of silence, not as a void to be filled, but as a space for reflection, creativity, and deeper connection. 
It's about recognizing that the most meaningful conversations are often those where both voices are heard, even in the quietest of whispers. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content on balancing extrovert and introvert dynamics.